this city. It breeds chaos, like red-hot magma, pouring through the streets, lighting everything on fire. More reports continue to flood in regarding so-called street interviews terrorizing the city. Did you say the N-word to end world hunger? What I say? No. This newest trend on TikTok involves approaching unsuspecting citizens and asking them deeply personal questions for, as they put it, Cloud. Yo, what's up, Prankster Nation? Busy Brad here, and you know we're keeping it busy. And today I'm gonna be doing some more street interviews. Holla at that like button! Someone needs to be there to make sure it doesn't burn too hot. We're gonna be pranking elephants today. We've got the budget to do it because of all of you 20 million followers today. Someone to make it chill again. Hello, students, and welcome to Internet Comment Etiquette. Now, I'm sure you've all heard about the unrest happening in the city right now, but hey, it's chill. I just want everybody to be chill, because that's how we get through these things. So I'm going to do what I can digitally, of course, to make sure things stay chill. But first things first, I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, VanceGlobal.com. Now, Vance Global sells HHC and Delta 8 products shipped discreetly and legally to all 50 states. All of Vance Global's products are lab tested, which you can see for yourself right here on their website, VanceGlobal.com. But that's not all. Use coupon code BIGMONEY and you can get 20% off your order. So whether you're into gummies, carts, or if you prefer combustion, Vance Global's got everything you need to chill out. And speaking of people who need to chill out, Let's check out some of these street interviews. Are you hot enough to date me? Sure, I don't know. You're 96.5 degrees. Is that healthy? Hear me out. It's okay. Are you hot enough to date me? No. Why not? I don't like men. Yeah, that's what these street interviews are. They're basically just pranks. You run up to somebody on the street, you ask them a bunch of personal questions, and uh, try to embarrass them for your audience of millions of people. Are you hot enough to date me? No. I just don't think I can measure up. I'm scared. You're 97 degrees. You have a little smiley face. I only date girls that are 100 degrees or hotter. Ah, come on. They're just trying to chill at the beach. The beach is for chilling, not street interviews. Otherwise, there'd be a street on the beach. Yo, guys, come on, chill out. There's got to be other ways to get popular on this app without running up on people and asking them dumbass questions. The only reason the algorithm favors this stuff is because it gets the most engagement, but most of that engagement comes from people calling you a douchebag. Anyway, good luck getting an adult girlfriend when any woman can Google your name and find footage of you being a little cringe goblin at the beach. And po Ah, fuck, you know what? It cut my comment off after 150 characters. Goddamn TikTok. Well, as you can see, there are limits to what you can accomplish digitally. And post anyway. Ah, oh, well, maybe that'll work. Anyway, I'm gonna do something for research purposes only, and I'm gonna sort by new. Oh, what do we have here? I think a lady's on the way. <laughs> Wait a second, I know where that alleyway is. <laughs> oh yeah, that alleyway's actually really close to here. All right, guys, well, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Be wanting a car, there, Master Salvia? Oh, no, it's a nice day outside, Chilford. I think I'll walk. Very chill of you, sir. Hey, girl, I'm off work. Do you want to go drink martinis until my turds are see through? Okay, cool. Mwah. Love you. See you there. Bye. Hey, how much rent do you pay? Smash your pass. Where'd you get your outfit? Can I see what's in your bag? No! Oh, come on, don't be like that. It's for TikTok. Would you say a racial slur to save the world? No, leave me alone. I'm not even doing anything. Look, just chill out, okay? Just chill. You first. Oh, oh shit! Uh, 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 Red. Uh, it's 2 p.m. on Saturday. You should be at a farmer's market, buying homemade soap, uh, trying out artisan cheeses. You shouldn't be running around asking women what's in their bags. That's not chill. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm just doing what he told us. Who? Who told you to make content like this? His name is the prankster, okay? I, I, I don't know anything else, I swear. Uh, okay, okay, okay. He just showed up on our Discord server one night and told us that street interviews are the hot new shit. And he was right, too. My socials are fucking juiced right now. <laughs> Chilford. Give me everything we got on the prankster. As you wish. I'm Master Salvia. Will you be home for lunch? Yeah. Give me a hoagie. Excellent choice, sir. Hey, you need to chill out. 
Take some gummies. Oh, oh. Those are Delta Aids from VanceGlobal.com. They are vegan, organic, and all the products are lab tested. You can check it out on their website. Coupon code Big Money for 20% off. Oh, damn, thanks. Start with half of one of those. It'll lead to you feeling euphoric and chill. Damn, that's tight. Say, what's your Instagram? Jilford? Master Salvia? What do we have on the prankster? Nothing other than a few outgoing payments. No name, social media presence. Payments, for what? Mostly street interviews, YouTube pranks. He's even paying people to bring crying babies onto airplanes. I've seen this video, he's behind this? Oh, he's behind Demorsa. He's swaying the city to lose its chill. Well, we're gonna have to stop him. What you have in mind? Well, I do have to finish this lesson because uh, otherwise my sponsor's gonna be really pissed off, so maybe I can work it in. It'll still be there tomorrow, Master Salvia. Perhaps it's time you focus on one thing at a time. Hey, I'll be chill about it, trust me. Keep that hoagie cold, I'm gonna want that when I'm done with this lesson. Hey guys, how about that sponsor? All right, welcome back to Internet Comment Etiquette. Now, if you ask me, I would say the least chill place ever is inside an airplane. Just take it from this poor son of a bitch. Man freaks out on airline staff, throws profanity-laced tantrum over crying baby on plane. Ooh, this is gonna be not chill. And play. We are in, we are in a tin can with a baby okay. in a echo chamber, yeah. and you wanna talk to me about being Okay. Okay, because you're, you're yelling. So That's is the baby. baby! Okay, so you're a man. Oh man, I'm cringing so hard. This is so not chill. Did that you you're pay extra to you? Shut up. So you see what happens when you lose your chill? You end up looking like this guy. Famous on the internet for being a piece of shit. I don't give a You lower that baby's voice. Oh wait. What if it's the baby's fault? I'm on that dude's side. The CIA used to use a track of a baby screaming for interrogation torture until it was deemed too inhumane. 1000% agree with the man. All y'all bleeding hearts about the baby who never flown with one screeching and screaming the entire four hour flight. Stop flying with infants. When people have children, you lose certain privileges. One of them is flying. I support that man 100%. I back that man 100%. Kids should have their own sections on the wings. Oh, well, that's not a very chill comment section. Let me fix that. Hey, fuck all you pussies. Hi, my name's Blake. I used to sell CBD, but now I'm a pilot. And I don't give a shit about your screaming babies. I'm up there in the cockpit flying you bunch of assholes all across the world, making sure clouds don't rip our wings off. And basically just too busy to care if there's a baby back there who doesn't understand why they have to be 30,000 feet above the ground in a pressurized metal tube. Our cockpit doors are several inches thick and impossible to breach. Yet if I were the pilot on the airplane from this video, I still would have hit the ejecto button based on this man screaming. And then, you know, let the whole thing crash do a national park like that one YouTuber is going to jail. This guy's outburst was so not chill, I'm surprised it didn't set off fight or flight reflexes for the other passengers on board, leading to an absolute bloodbath. They must have all been on Vance Global Delta 8 gummies. That said, I wouldn't mind hiring this screaming dipshit as a babysitter to make my kid deaf so I can reenact my favorite movie, Mr. Holland's Opus, where I gotta teach him what piano feels like. <laughs> post! Hey, you guys wanna see something cool? I can use AI to zoom in on this idiot's glasses and then clean up the reflection to see who has that baby. Confirmed. Is isn't that chill as shit that I can do that? I mean, now that I've got the guy's face, I could probably get his name, maybe even where he is right now. Not that I would. Anyway, let's take another quick sponsor break. Friedrich Wilson, Shakespearean actor. No children. He's performing seven ages of men in an hour. Well, looks like I'll be taking that hoagie to go. Are you sure, Master Salvia? Yeah, it's really not chill how you keep doubting me, Chilford. Is such a thing as healthy worry, sir. Save it for someone who needs it. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women mere players. They have their exits, their entrances, and one man in his time will play many parts. I got a part for you. I want you to play a snitch. What are you? I'm the chill that lurks in the hearts of men. Okay. Who's the prankster? Give me a name. I signed an NDA. He pays you to bring crying babies onto airplanes. That's not chill. Hey, those were social experiments and I was playing a character. What do you know about acting anyway? Hey, chill out. Those are HHC gummies from VanceGlobal.com. HHC provides a stronger head high, increased focus, 
euphoria and sativa-like effects compared to Delta 8. Maybe pop one of those next time you get on an airplane. See if it chills you out. I do get anxiety before auditions. <gasps> this could be the ticket. Yeah, tight. Now who's paying you? Actually, it's the same person who hired the guy standing next to you. What? Master Salvia, come in. Thank you for the gummies. Oh, Master Salvia, please, wake up. Oh dear. Thank God I bugged that hokey. Let's get you out of here. Oh, my hair. Oh, you're so sweaty. What happened? What happened is you got pranked, Master Xavier. You got pranked in the ribs. You got pranked in the face. And you're lucky they kept it at that. Where do you think you're going? You're in no shape to continue this lesson. The guy who knocked me out had a can of Coors Light. So? So that means I can find him. Now wait just one second. You're gonna hear me out this time. Now turn around! You want to be the incorruptible chill of this city while still teaching people good etiquette online. I get that. But you come home covered in bruises every night from fighting street interviewers. You're a D-list YouTube personality who takes sponsor breaks every two minutes. If you're not careful, you're gonna lose this city and your audience. It's about time you chose one. Just one. The internet needs comment etiquette lessons. And this city needs the chill night to do what can't be done online. And they both need sponsorship money. They're not separate, Chilford. They've always been linked. Anyway, you want to take a hit off my HHC card from fansglobal.com, coupon code big money? There's no additives or fillers. It's all just HHC and terpenes. No, thank you, sir. Your parents wanted a chill life for you, Master Salvia. I promised them that. Now all I can hear is them telling you to stop this madness. Yeah, well, you knew them better than me. Oh, so smooth. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, I can feel my dick. Mm. Mm. How about that sponsor? All right, now, real quick, let's look at people uh, losing their chill over beer cans. No. Look how many Bud Lights compared to Coors. Nah, it's not him. They go down the drain. And Coors would be my choice. Nah, not them. So today I'm going to show you guys how to drink Bud Light. like that. Not this guy. Uh, it's just Kid Rock. This is where it now belongs. In the garbage. Not this guy. Screw you, Bud Light. I'm a Coors man now. We're never serving Bud Light in this mixed martial arts dojo gym again. Oh, there he is. Okay, sponsor break. Bet you wouldn't say that if I was standing right in front of your face, pussy. And post. I <laughs> blasted his ass. You know, Coors has been supporting LGBTQ causes since the 1980s. Oh. Uh, didn't know you had a remote. You want me to beat your ass again? No! I want you to chill! You're lucky I'm on my lunch break. Yo, CBD man! Smasher pass, Jill Biden! Tiananmen Square! Oh, what the? Oh, no, 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 I'm locked out of my TikTok account? Uh, I'm live on Twitch, you can't turn this off! Cracker! What? I just got permanently banned! You just said cracker! How did that happen?
actually pretty tasty. Is that CBD? Delta 8s, courtesy of VanceGlobal.com. Coupon code Big Money for 20% off your order. They also have pre rolls. If that's your thing, check that out. Pre rolls also come in HHC, which, as I said earlier, is a more euphoric, sativa like kind of vibe. You want these? Have them. Sounds like you're sponsored by them. The prankster. Who is he? Oh, that guy's an asshole. He never paid me for knocking you out. All I need is a name. He never got a name. But I got a selfie. Oh, no. 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 Yeah, I take selfies with everybody I meet. Anyway. It was fucking Chilfred pranked! Fuck you, Master Salvia! I've been the prankster all along. Now this is my channel and I'm gonna show you guys the least chill shit in the world. Viral carnival ride accident. Oh, well this is just a nice carnival ride. It'd be a real shame if somebody paid a carny to pull one of the pins out. Oh, nobody had fun that night. Yo! Who here's getting gang stalked? Have you ever thought maybe your gang stalkers are just trying to toughen you up? Make you a better person? And post that. Now we're gonna go on to something even more horrible. Whoa! Who put that kid out there? Does anyone have the sinking feeling that something bad is about to happen? Like, I'm gonna have to take out your grandma for what's in her cabinets bad? I'm just saying we don't really have time to be chill, so why bother? Because being chill is for pussies! And post! <laughs> Very chill indeed. Why, Chilfred? It's Prankster! Gerald D. Prankster. Your parents called me Chilfred, but I was pranking those hippies since before you were born, you little whelp. Then you came along with this chill night shit. What was I supposed to do, huh? Not prank you? I've been planning this since you put on that stupid little suit. Wow, you're fucking insane. Have you looked at yourself? We're both insane. And I'm gonna make you my greatest prank ever. And then, I'm gonna prank myself. Come on then, prank me. <laughs> I don't have to get my hands dirty. I've already won, Master Salvia. Common etiquette is irrelevant. The chill of the city, irrelevant. I have pranked everything that you hold chill. You cuck. Everything is irrelevant, including you. Yeah, well, maybe you should check again, Shilford. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Busy Brad. And I want to come clean for a second. I never, I never meant to bother anybody, okay? I didn't realize I was messing people's days up so bad. Busy Brad. No. It's really hard to get a date when anybody can just Google my name and find footage of me harassing women in alleyways. I hate that. You thought you could corrupt the soul of the city by giving people a monetary incentive to act like douchebags. But what you don't realize is that everyone just wants to be chill. So, no more street interviews. I'm only showing chill shit to my 20 million followers now. No! No! Yeah, you like that? There's more. Hey Twitch fans, uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that I've been feeling a lot more chill lately. And I also wanted to admit that I'm the guy that's been bringing screaming babies onto flights. I've been doing it for 20 something years now, but I'm done with that because I just realized how badly I had to hurt those babies to get them to cry. And... Uh, come on, Fred! Anyway, have you guys tried Vance Global's HHCs? I feel like the bell of the ball on these things. No, no. Oh, that's so fucking chill. I've decided to stop fist fighting nuns. Not chill. No! 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 Yo, chill the fuck out. Just you wait. I've got the perfect prank for this. <laughs> I'm the prankster. <laughs> Oh, this is heavy. What the fuck, door? Come on, Jesus Christ. Oh. oh. Let me guess. Delta 8, H, 
H.C., perhaps? Salvia. What? Salvia Divinorum, 150X, sourced from Oaxaca. It'll fill the room in 90 seconds, but you'll be gone by then. Come on, man, that's gonna make me trip so hard. That's not chill at all. You're about to experience the least chill shit you've ever seen in your life. Maybe then you'll understand what it is we have to lose. Holy fuck. Chill is where we live between the moments we remember. Chill is the growth we don't see. All it takes is a signal, a beacon to give light in the darkness. Once you've been to worlds, universes without chill for what feels like a hundred years, maybe then you'll know what it is that makes us so special. Just tell me. No, I don't like this. <laughs> really, I really do. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. In tonight's news, street interviews are officially dead. It's been three days with no reports of women being asked asinine questions by teenagers when they're just trying to go about their business. Experts say that the algorithm has shifted. Towards what? We'll just have to see. What's something that you really hate about a guy? When I'm trying to go to the bathroom on 6th Street and they're like, hey, can I ask you a question? <laughs> but for now, the city can finally chill.